That was for you. <laughs> this is a well-known area where individuals are brought up because you can cross right here. So here we have the trail going right up and this is the border. When they get to the U.S. side here, this is pretty tough going, huh? There's nothing over here. It's two to three days walking directly north from here to get to any kind of civilization. And unfortunately, this is where we end up with people dying is because they've been led to believe that it's only a little ways. You don't have to carry a lot. You don't have to have a lot of food, a lot of water. And you're going through a bombing range. This is where the military trains and they do live fire. There's a lot of unexploded ordnance and everything else that's out here. So the cartels have already got their money. When they get the, the people, the migrants to, to here, they've yeah. done their job, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. They got their money, so they don't care if they die in the US side? No. It's a commodity, it's not a human life. So you're Are saying- those people up there? Those are people. Where? Right here. Oh, geez. How you guys doing? Came from India, Mumbai, Dehradun, Gujarati. Chicago. That's where you're going? Chicago? What'd you do in India? Cong Congress leader. Hmm. Congress party's worker. Congress party worker, okay. You flying to Mexicali? No, Mexico. No, fly. Were they on a bus? Were you on a bus? You have a one? Yeah. With a group of nine from India. Yeah, that's... Well, um, weird. I wonder if there was a smuggler who was supposed to pick them up out there. But it might be. That's, that's kind of strange. I wonder if it's because they extended Title 42, but India is not a Title 42 nation. No, it's not. They're Title 8, so I don't know why they came in through here. Usually they're down by the river. Maybe they paid the wrong people. Well. <laughs> What's up, brother? How are you doing, sir? Good, you? Not too bad. Yeah, they were just walking down the road. It was like yeah, they called that one a whole bunch of times. So. Oh, they have. Yeah. How you doing, sir? Living the dream, right? <laughs> How you doing, sir? You doing? Peter. Luis. Luis, nice to meet you. Usually, they'll shoot like a group like this through here, and then through 195, they'll try to give have another like, one across. Yeah, I got on. I got on all. So it's all about tying up you guys. Yes, sir. There you go. These folks were sitting here constantly down 911 to get picked up. So cartels exploiting border patrol resources by having them do that out here to get their other product through back where we were before. What pro people or drugs? Both. And what better way to do it than having a group 30 miles out in the middle of nowhere where you know that public safety is a priority, human life is a priority. They're gonna Nights play Night's coming, of they'd freeze out here. Yeah. So it's all part of the game. And I'm sure the cartel is over there somewhere, watching, because the highway is right there. Oh, look, so you do it all. Pull this one out, go like this, see? Yes, I have one. There you go, pull, pull the other one out. Why do they take the laces out, just so they... Well, you can use them for... <laughs> Whatever, yeah. Yeah, so, so you gotta make sure they don't have any knives, guns. Narcotics. So they obviously have, they have money. They had the money to fly from India. They're all wearing new clothes. They flew up, mm -hmm. paid the cartels. Right. Hey, the doctor gave you that? Okay, yeah, you can no, 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 put it in the back. Keep that out. Yeah. In the back, in the back. You can keep the medical stuff separate. Whenever we take you to our, our processing center, since uh, you're either your wife or yourself, we're just going to stay with the kids. So I, I need you. Have you seen many guys from India coming? Recently? Uh, all, all na to be honest with you, all nationalities. I mean, to or answer your question, drugs. yes, but, uh, but they're all nationalities. But you're in you can't really talk to me much, can you? No. You can talk to a PAO. Or the sheriff. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
So what you're watching is Border Patrol. No, you can still do your B-roll. Okay. I'm just explaining what they're doing. So that device that he has, looks like a cell phone, is they're actually taking a picture of their passport, and that integrates all that information from that passport into Border Patrol's system. And they're also taking a picture of the tag for that person's property. By the time they get to Border Patrol Station, their info is already in their system at their station. And that's why I kind of made a hint that they're almost turned into TSA agents because that's what happens at an airport when you get on a plane. They take a picture of your passport, run it through the system, then you move on your way. 